Thanks again for coming to watch my video. In this video, we'll be seeing how you can scroll up and down and take a screenshot of entire page whether you, rather than you having to take screenshot of each frame and then attach them one by one. So say for example, I have this blog post on my blog which says what is two-step verification and how to enable it. So if I scroll down, it's quite a long post. It even has a video and then a comment section and so on. So if I want to take a screenshot of this entire page, including the entire blog post, we can do this using a tool called Awesome Screenshot, which I have currently installed, which is over here. Now, Awesome Screenshot is available on Chrome as well as Firefox. So you can just install the extension and start using it. We'll quickly do a search. I'll even post the link on for Google as well as Firefox on my videos. So you can just download this extension once you have downloaded it. It should appear over here in the top right area of your address bar. It's already added to Chrome, so it's showing me added to Chrome. So if I go back over here and now if I want to take screenshot of this entire page, I click on awesome screenshot icon and then attach it for me and give it to me in a different page from where I can make changes or I can save it to my local hard disk. So it's going frame by frame. It's, it was automatically scrolling down. I wasn't doing that. So now here it is. I have this entire screenshot in an iframe of awesome screenshot window. So from here I can make the changes as I want to. I can enter text. I can shade out certain areas if I don't want to show my username or something. I can blur it. I can draw free lines, I can draw lines, I can put down arrows, I can annotate it, leave messages on it, highlight something. And Once I have done the changes, I can crop it as well. Once everything is done, I click on done. And then this is finally preparing my image to save it. So I can save this image as a file on my local computer. So say for example, I can even save it directly on Google Drive. Now, if I click on save and save it on my local computer, okay, so I'll just change the name to what is two step verification and how to enable it, and then save it on my desktop. Because over here everything is happening on cloud, you might feel that it's a bit glitchy. I even got the error which says page unresponsive. I'll just click on wait and ask him to wait till the page becomes responsive back. Okay, so hopefully I have this screenshot saved on my desktop. Now, once the screenshot is saved, I can even go ahead and make the changes by clicking on re-edit the screenshot. If I first want to save the screenshot as it is, and then make changes into it and then save it with changes. So I can even do that from this window which says re-edit this screenshot. So now let's go ahead and see on my desktop the screenshot. Okay, it seems that Chrome has really become irresponsive. It doesn't seem to be working at all. Okay, so here I have it. What is two-step verification and how to enable it? It has saved it automatically in .png format. So there you can see, this is how the screenshot comes. So this is an, a perfect tool if you want to take long screenshots of scroll down pages or if you want to make any screenshots online and instantly be able to make changes into them so that you can save them on your local hard disk without use of and make change and you don't have to use any third party software to make changes into screenshots. So I'll post a link for downloading this particular uh, tool on Firefox as well as on uh, Chrome so that you can go ahead and download this extension and start using it.
I hope you are able to see the entire screenshot that I have right now opened on my screen. So hey, thanks for watching and do leave your comments and let me know if you have any suggestions or ideas on how I can improve my videos. Thank you. Bye. See ya.